Hi, I'm Lavinia Limon. I'm the President and CEO of the U.S. Committee for Refugees and Immigrants, or USCRI. USCRI was established over 100 years ago as the national organization of a network of local agencies who were created to deal with the millions of people who came to the United States around the 18th and 19th centuries from Europe. Their purpose, the local agencies, was to help people assimilate into the United States, to learn English, and begin their new lives. USCRI is the national organization of these local agencies. And as such, we advocate. We talk to senators, we talk to congressmen, we talk to international organizations. And we try and get them to establish policies and pass laws that will help immigrants, refugees, and victims of trafficking regain their dignity and be able to establish a new life. I think what USCRI has always done, which separates us from everyone else, is we always have a focus on the individual. Over and over and over, we're asking the question, so what does this mean for the refugee? How does it actually affect the immigrant? We need to focus what we do best on what they need most. About five years ago, we got a phone call from some folks who told us about a child. He'd been brought to the United States by a nun from Africa. The nun had died, and he was being taken care of by volunteers. And they asked us if we could get him legal status. So after a lot of work and a lot of advocacy by many, many people, the Congress actually passed a private bill which allows this one person to stay in the United States. By then, he graduated high school. He was in college and accepted to medical school. It was an enormous victory for a truly remarkable person. I think the largest issue facing refugees and immigrants today are really twofold. First is public opinion. There are a lot of people who believe that refugees and immigrants are actually a threat to this country. Where it's been proven over our 200 plus years of history that refugees and immigrants contribute to this country, they work hard, they bring innovation. The second challenge is really the whole process of assimilating into the United States. But we see over and over and over that they meet that challenge. They learn English and they work and they start their new lives. The history of America has proven that refugees and immigrants have shaped this country into the most powerful and most free country in the world. And the future of this country will also be shaped by immigrants and refugees. Your contribution will help us continue our good work for the next 100 years. Thank you so much.